Hey what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video today I'm going to be reviewing this LG monitor right here that I have in front of me. It is a 27 inch and it is a 4K. The model on this is right here as you guys can see it's the 27 UL 500 W. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Let me try to zoom in for you. And as you can see, or as you can tell, I do have two of these monitors. I use this in my office. So I've got two of these monitors and I think I paid around under $300 for them. And I've actually owned them for, well, actually I've owned one of them for about a year now. Because I liked it so much, I bought another one. And I just want to show you guys basically what they're like. If you guys were wondering what that wallpaper is right now, that's from the Steam uh, gaming platform. It's called Wallpaper Engine. You can download it. I think it costs like five, six bucks or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe maybe I pay like 11, 10 bucks. I don't, I don't remember, but anyway. So these are the 27 inch LG monitors, 4K display, 27 inch. They do go up to 60 Hertz. So they're definitely not gaming. They're not gaming monitors, if you will. Um, if you guys did want a gaming monitor, you could technically game on this, but if you if you were playing, say, competitive gaming like Call of Duty Warzone, you might want to go for something a little bit higher when it comes to a refresh rate. So you might want to go for like 120 hertz minimum, or like I'm using now, I think I'm using an Acer monitor that I believe uses the 240 hertz pretty decent monitor it's only 1080p though so that's what happens when you want those extra hertz you are losing that resolution but regardless most video cards today unless you're paying like a few close to that about close to about 800 bucks you're not getting anything that's going to uh, to perform well what are the words I should use really? You're not going to get a monitor with 4K display. Sorry, you can get a monitor 4K display, but I don't even think they have anything with 240 hertz at 4K. I don't know, last I checked. But you also have to make sure your video card supports it, so that's another whole story. Uh, most video cards today, under the $600 mark price, um, will give you about, well, it really depends on what game, whatever. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Okay, back to the monitors. So these are the LG monitors. Um, as you can tell, you got the white background in the back, so they're very, very aesthetically nice. Uh, most monitors that, that you do get don't have that white background, so that in itself is already a huge, um, a huge, um, what do you call it? Um, Oh gosh, I'm at a loss for words today, but basically, if you're looking for that white aesthetic and you don't really care about Hertz, this is the monitor to go for. High resolution, beautiful. Um, in terms of stability, like, I'm going to try to show you guys without shaking the camera too much, but as you can see, it's not very, like, it does wobble a little bit, especially if you have like a wobbly desk, so it does have that wiggle, but you do have a VESA mount. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with VESA mounts. You can hook this up to a little adapter and then you can plug it, attach it to your desk and then you have like a swivel arm. If you guys are familiar with that, then yeah. Um, what else you get with this monitor? You'll get a headphone jack in the back right there as you guys can see. You get one display port, which is what this looks like. I don't want to mess anything up, but yeah. That's a display port right there. It's got that little weird angle at the end. And then you have two HDMI ports. It's HDMI in and HDMI in at number two. Again, along with the headphone jack, and then you have the power, the power port where that thing is plugged in right there. So overall, this is a great monitor. I've owned one of these for about a year. The other one I've owned, I've owned up for about six months now. I I am absolutely very satisfied with these monitors. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you were looking for a 4K monitor, aesthetically nice with a VESA mount, um, 
This is definitely not Apple, I just... We get a lot of Apple products in the office and I just like to steal the stickers and then plaster them on anything I can pretty much get my hands on. So for example, we have this speaker right here, which is uh, by Harman Kardon. It was actually cracked, that thing there, the piece of plastic was cracked. As you guys can see, I fixed it and then I attached a little Apple sticker on it, so yeah. I'm one of those guys that sticks Apple stickers everywhere. Um, so yeah, two, I've got two of these display monitors, they're fantastic for productivity. Color is very nice on them too. They do have that matte display finish, so if you're not into the whole shiny display, which I know I'm not, I don't like the shiny display because of the reflection, so if you're in a really bright room, you get that glare and that reflection, which kind of gets annoying, but it has its pros. There are some pros to it. If you're watching a movie on it, the screen looks a little bit crisper. But overall, I like the matte finish because its I feel like it's easier on the eyes a little bit too. That's just me. I know my laptop, which is a Dell Inspiron 7559, it's a gaming laptop, which I bought like two or three years ago, has the matte display. So anyway, before my battery runs out, I'm going to have links to this monitor in the description below, so make sure to check that out if you guys were interested in purchasing a 27 inch 4K monitor at 60 hertz. I paid under 300 bucks for it. I think it was like 269 plus tax. But anyway, these are the 27UL500. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. So I just wanna show you guys something. Underneath the monitor is where you have the control switches. So for example, at this so oh, why is it doing that okay there we go so underneath the monitor oh itunes is really getting on my nerves so let's take a look underneath the monitor you get this little light up led button it's actually kind of like a joystick button it goes up down right left and that really makes it convenient as opposed to having like a bunch of buttons there so just pushing it in this actually turns the monitor on scroll to power off or you would scroll to some of the settings so anyway let me take you through some of the settings here quickly so I'm just gonna kind of set my phone on my chair like so so as you can tell you have a bunch of uh, you have a bunch of settings to choose from here so let me just run you through some of the modes RTS FPS cinema reader HDR effect depending on what you prefer I guess so we can just leave it on, we can leave it on HDR actually. And if I push this in again, we can go to input. You have all the inputs to choose from. So depending on which display port you're plugged into, if you're plugged into all of these, you can go ahead and use them all. Well, not use them all, but you can switch between. If we go into picture mode, we already did that. Let's go into settings. So settings you have here, brightness. So right now I'm on the full brightness level and I would say it's a very bright monitor, but it's relative, it's, I would say it's pretty decent. It's not bad, it's easy on the eyes, that's for sure. It's not like crazy, uh, like it's not, it's not super bright where it kind of, it's blinding, but it's it's a nice, I, I, I actually really like it. For me, it works out perfectly. That's my preference. Either way, like when I'm using a laptop, I like to use it on a dimmer mode just because I do have sensitive eyes. Let's go to settings a little and play around a little bit with the settings. So we see the brightness here, we can turn it down. If you have to select it, you can turn the brightness all the way down. So you might not see it now because I think the application is messing with the, uh, with the settings. Volume, that's if you're using the headphone jack, you're able to use the volume. You can change the aspect ratio. Right now it's on full wide. The picture mode, you can adjust the picture, game adjust. I don't really play with any of these settings, to be honest. Power LED, you can turn that off so that it doesn't light up at the bottom of the monitor here, as I showed you guys before. OSD size, OSD lock, buzzer, 
I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't, I've never messed around with that. I pretty much use the monitor very vanilla, pretty much how they, how it is. Um, yeah, great monitor, guys. If you're looking to pick up a 4K 27-inch monitor, definitely these.